did. Uh, I just uh, got home um, from the reunification uh, area at uh, MacArthur Elementary here in El Paso, just a few blocks um, from the mall uh, where the terrorist attack happened. But how overwhelming to belong to this beautiful denomination of MCC where people from around the world are contacting me and sending love and support and prayers, um, speaking to my point elders and uh, people from the denomination, all just offering to help and offering support uh, for my, my beautiful congregation here in MCC. As far as I know, um, no one in my congregation was directly impacted, but my job is to bear witness to the suffering of those families. They were there for 10 hours. Um, and during that time, they were, um, I don't want to give too many details yet, um, but you know, they were told, turn in your information and as names come, you'll be matched up. Um, and so of course, by about nine o'clock, we realized there are about 19 families left in the room with us and we all know the numbers, um, but it was fascinating. I made a tour around just chatting with those who would chat with me um, and they were all still trying to keep that hope, which is the natural human. There's no reason not to, right? It doesn't hurt anything to continue to hope for a miracle, to hope for the best. But unfortunately, you know, after a while, they started to feel a little um, dragged on, right? And then finally at about 1030, when uh, the latest update was being given, they kind of pushed back and asked the kind of questions that if they were able to get beyond denial, that they had to figure it's highly likely that they're the families who are going to receive the bad news. But unfortunately, with a huge crime scene like this, they haven't even begun to examine the bodies. They're covered up in situ uh, where they lay, um, which um, one of the most heartbroken breaking moments for me was a young girl screams out, but my mom has been laying on the ground since, you know, for 10 hours all by herself. You're just gonna leave her laying on the ground. And I couldn't help but think immediately back to Mike Brown and the nightmare of every mother of their child laying in the street for three and a half hours. And all of these families then had that vision of if it's their loved one, they've been laying there under a um, sheet while the investigation takes its pace. So, but I wanted you to know that you all did do incredible good for these poor families that I was able to share that with them. Uh, it just was uh, overwhelming and beautiful and thank you so much for that. My congregation is extremely touched that you know us by name and love us.